everyone, my name is Dina Kakoulis and I'm the author of It's a Willa World. And this is Willa. And this is my editor, Serena Moyle, and she's going to be doing the honors today by reading the book for us. I hope you enjoy it. It's a Willow World by Dina Kakoulis. Hello, my name is Willa. I am going to tell you a story about how I saved my human's life and became famous. My life began in Hartford, Alabama, where I lived on a farm with my Beagle family and human family. Life was always busy on the farm. One day, two humans named George and Yaya came to visit. George picked me up and said, I have a job for you. A job, I thought? What is a job? I wondered what I would do and hoped it would be a lot of fun. George told me I would find out more in a few days when a man named Papu would pick me up and take me to Tallahassee, Florida. I couldn't wait for my job to start. A couple of nights later, I was in a deep sleep, dreaming like I always do. I must have thought I found a big bone because suddenly I bit my tongue. It started to bleed. My humans rushed me to the furry doctor. After a few stitches, I was as good as new. That night when I got home, the humans began to call me Willa. They said I had the will to live. I like that name. The day was finally here. I was moving away from my family to start a new job and a new life. I packed my favorite ball and blanket and we jumped in the car. As we settled in for the two hour car ride to Tallahassee, Papu told me all about Steve and what my job would be. Steve served for four years as a member of the United States Marine Corps and was deployed for seven months to Afghanistan. Willa, Papu said, your job is to be a PTSD therapy dog for Steve. Papu continued his story saying, when Steve was in Afghanistan, one of his fellow Marines and his IE ED dog were killed in an explosion. That made Steve very sad. When he returned home, Papu and Yaya had more bad news. His beagle Jackie that Steve adopted as a young boy had died as well. All this sad news caused Steve to have nightmares when he went to sleep. Large groups of people, like crowds, made him feel anxious, scared, and confused. The worst part about it Steve was not talking to anyone about how sad he felt. Papu said therapy dogs like me should make humans like Steve feel better. I felt so bad for Steve. I wondered if I licked him like my furry mom licked me, I could make him feel better. I loved Steve already and could not wait to meet him and start my job. Finally, we made it to Tallahassee and my new home. We met Yaya outside the house. She was holding a large box wrapped in Christmas paper with a big red bow on top. She scooped me up, kissed my nose, and placed a pink bow around my neck. I love my new pink necklace that Yaya called a collar. As we walked through the front door, Papu gently placed me inside the box wrapped in Christmas paper. He left the lid open just enough so I could still breathe and see everything. Next, he placed the box down in front of Steve. I saw a hand slowly open the top of the box and realized it was Steve. But wait, he started to cry. Were these sad or happy tears? Then he picked me up and brought me close to his chest. That felt good. I decided to lick him just like my furry mom licked me. It worked! Steve began to smile and I began to wag my tail back and forth a lot. That night, while everyone in my new human family was fast asleep, Steve and I stayed up late getting to know each other. Steve told me stories about being a Marine, and I told him stories about living on a farm. Suddenly, it started raining. A flash of lightning streaked across the sky, and a big boom of thunder shook the bed. What a thunderstorm! Steve looked scared, and he began to sweat. 
I decided to lick sweet Steve's sweaty face and make him feel better, even though the big thunder booms continued. Steve told me that the thunder reminded him of being in Afghanistan, and he didn't like that one bit. Steve and I stayed up so late talking, we thought we might see the sunrise together. That night, I learned that when Steve started to talk about stuff that bothered him, he began to feel better. I was beginning to understand the purpose of my job more and more. The next morning when Steve and I woke up, Yaya had some exciting news for us. The video she filmed of us meeting for the first time had gone viral. When she posted it to her Facebook and YouTube page, people from all over the world watched how I made Steve smile when I licked his face. A story was even written about us on the front page of newspapers all over the country. Steve and I were famous. While all the attention seemed exciting to most people, it only made Steve feel anxious. He did not want to talk to any newspaper reporters or be interviewed on television. No press, Steve exclaimed to everyone. And I was right there supporting Steve doing my job. If Steve felt mad, sad, or confused, I would lick him or let him pet me. He always felt much better after that. Also learned that we, if we played fetch or go fishing, that makes Steve happy too. Soon Steve was talking about his feelings to his brother George and even his sister Maria. And me, I was just enjoying my new human family. I even have a new furry family too. One day, when Steve and I were getting ready to go fishing, Yaya came outside to ask me a question. She wanted to know if I would visit some children at an elementary school. Hmm, why do I need to go to school? I wondered, and Yaya continued to explain. Since our video went viral, people wanted to meet me and pet me. They also wanted to know how I saved Steve's life. My Yaya said she would tell the children the story and all I had to do was let them pet me. Maybe I could give them all a big lick. The message my Yaya shares is this. If you are feeling sad about something, if you are feeling sad about nothing, it is okay to tell someone. Once I came into Steve's life, he began to feel happy again. He slept better, he went out with his friends, and we went fishing a lot. I am Steve's best friend, and we are inseparable. Steve had the will to live, just like me and just like you. I have the best job in the whole wide world. I love Steve, and Steve loves me. It's a Willow World. The end. If you'd like to see the video, Google Marine Veteran Gets Christmas Puppy Surprise. You'll love it.